My name's Adam Perry Lang, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a chef who loves to cook barbecue. My passion for barbecue started uh, when I was pretty young. It was always seemed like it was the man's job in my house to do. I realized that there's something so much more than just uh, turning the stove on. I wanted to engage in the process of heating up that stove naturally and then figuring out a way of harnessing it and working with it. There's a connectivity that I love so much about uh, cooking with fire and cooking a natural element. The descriptors on this thing are really, really not sexy at all. I mean, we're talking about, I burn wood to make charcoal. Then I turn around and say, well, what's in your spice drip? Okay, it's salt, pepper, garlic salt, and cayenne. They say, oh, well, why do I have to burn the wood separately and then drag it across the thing? Well, it makes such a huge difference, and ultimately, you taste it. There's some things that are fantastic to do in 20 minutes. Other things are best to be preserved separately. Quite frankly, I just love everything craft. People doing things with care and intention, I think that is one of the greatest things in life that enhances beauty. It was just a dream of mine to create something that no one's done before, and that's create a slice of country in the middle of an urban center, and to create the best, most authentic barbecue that I knew how to do. So I decided to do this uh, journey this summer and explore different craft things in my life who is like-minded around me that could really get with the program, and that's how I got with my steel mentor, Rick, the Door County Forge up in Wisconsin, to make beautiful Damascus steel, and then handcraft the knife. And then also, George Dickel, I'm gonna go to the distillery and get to meet and work with those guys. When I think barbecue, I think whiskey. It's my go-to drink. It just matches up well. For me, it's a similar philosophy that that lies with George Dickel, and that's Handmade the Hard Way, which is their tagline. It's so cool that someone is, is doing it the way George Dickel is. I mean, because in terms of putting their time and energy and passion into something, for me, it's the essence. Look, when you got a great recipe, you don't mess with it. You know, for me, that, that rings home. And then finally, we're gonna do this outrageous back lot barbecue. That uh, Jimmy Kimmel back lot. I bought a 45-foot flatbed trailer and had this fantastic company in Texas build me a custom pit, which we designed together. And then I had my friend Nicole build me a coal generator to actually make my own charcoal. We've got a small little metal forging shop, big green eggs, which I intend to teach people how to cook on. My friend Jimmy Duresta built the most incredible bar. It really enhanced the whole barbecue experience. And we also have this amazing VIP lounge, which we can entertain anybody who wants to come. Got everything. What I really want to do is a couple of things with it. Um, first and foremost, I wanted just to introduce myself to um, Los Angeles. And I wanted to feed people. Not only people that pay, but also we're feeding the homeless shelters. 25% of everything that we're cooking is getting distributed to a different shelter around town. And you know what, if nobody showed up, no matter what, anything above 25%, someone's gonna be fed. I'm gonna put on, uh, to me, the ultimate barbecue feast. It's also a big thank you to a lot of the people that helped me actually put this amazing project together. It's definitely a cherry on top where friends, family, um, workers come together and just have a great time. What I've done here is very much American craftsmanship. Putting in all the extra effort and doing it myself, it, it just makes it that much more meaningful. You also get a tremendous benefit of interacting with people that you know are working hard alongside you and you develop a bond with it. I'm so proud of what we accomplished here because we had to pull um, together so many elements, but just to see it function and work the way it is, uh, I'm blown away.